Hi students, you have already learned about lists and tables in your previous class and now you are learning about block graphs. Block means small boxes each representing a unit or a value and graph means a diagram or a chart. Block graphs are very interesting not only because you can collect, record and read information but you can also compare them. The block graphs give a better visual presentation. By looking at the height of the bar, you can easily say which data has the highest value and which one has the lowest value. You can compare the data very easily. Let's see how to create a block graph to represent this information. I will be using different colors for different data. You can see that each block has a value 1. The horizontal line is used to label the data and the vertical line is used to represent the value or number of roots. It's actually showing you the scale. I would also like to show you how you can make a tally chart before starting the block graph. Each time you count a fruit, you have to draw a small line and the fifth line should cross all the four tiny lines. So let's make a tally chart for these roots. Let's count the apples first. One, two, three, four, five. So let's write like this. One, two, three, four. Fifth is a cross line. So you write the total five. For pairs, one, two, three, four. So let's write four here. Bananas, one, two. So let's write two here. Oranges, one, two, three. Let's write three there. The tally chart is ready. So let's make the block graph now. I will there are five apples. So I'm going to color five blocks with red. One, two, three, four, and five. For pairs, I'm going to color four blocks with green. So let's color one, two, three, four. The next fruit I have here is banana. So let's see how many are there. There are two bananas. So let's color one, two. Two bananas with yellow. And I have three oranges. So let me shade or color one, two, three blocks with orange. Orange for orange. The bar graph is now ready. Let me ask you some questions now. Can you tell me which fruit has the highest quantity? You can check the height of the bars and find out the answer. So the tallest one is for apples. So yes, the answer is apples. Now, which fruit has the lowest quantity? Yes, you are right, bananas. Now, the next question is, how many more pears did you buy than oranges? You can compare the blocks and see clearly that there is one extra block in pairs. So you have bought one extra pair than oranges. I hope you all enjoyed this lesson. I'll meet you with a new topic in the next video. Bye.